Today we're going to talk about how to create a C name. First of all, what is a C name? C names are a part of a DNS record that tells a requester of an address where the resource is located. So you may have heard of an A record, and the main difference between an A record and a C, rec a C name is that an A record points to a specific IP address. So for example, www.domain.com points to a specific IP address on the web. Whereas a C name actually points to another domain name. In this case, report.domain.com may report to report.domain2.com. So why do you need a C name? Well, your private labeled portal will actually be hosted on our servers. So we need you to create a domain name to point to the location of your private labeled portal so that your customers don't see our domain name. You can pick any full domain name or subdomain that you, any full name or subdomain that you want. So for example, you could use reports.yourco.com or www.yourcoseo.com. Now I'm going to walk you through an example on GoDaddy of uh, actually creating a C name. So in this case, I'm going to I have a business called CyberCMO and I want to create a private labeled portal at report.cybercmo.com. So what I need to do in this case is create a C name to re to point report.cybercmo.com to report.hubshout.com. Let's take a look at that. Now I'm going to walk through an example of, with using GoDaddy, but most of the other domain registrars have similar screens that we'll see here. They may be named something slightly different, but uh, we'll walk through the, the GoDaddy example. Now I've logged in and I'm currently looking at the My Account screen. I actually want to go down and click on the View All My Domains in the Domain Manager. Now as I mentioned I have a list of several domains here, but in this case I want to work on the Cyber CMO domain. So I'm going to select the Cyber CMO domain. And now I'm actually on the domain um, information or details screen uh, within uh, GoDaddy. Now the place that we need to go is we need to control the DNS. And in the case of GoDaddy they call it the total DNS control screen. Other domain registrars may call it something slightly different, or if, you're, if your domain is already hosted and your DNS is with your hosting company, um, they may call it slightly something a little different. But at the end of the day, it's the place where you can control um, A records, C names, MX records. That's where we want to go. So I'm going to click on Total DNS Control. Okay, so now we're on the details screen. Um, we're actually we're looking at all our DNS record for cybercmo.com, um, and you can see that it has A records at the top, then it has C names, and it has MX records. And uh, you know A records, as I mentioned, point to IP addresses. You can see C names tend to point to other um, other domains, other servers out there hosted on domain, and MX records um, are related to email. So what we're going to do here is we're going to add a new C name. Uh, and by the way, you can see that I currently have a C name set up for Calendar, Docs, IMAP, Mail, Start, and www. We're going to create a new C name. Okay, and it's say enter alias name. As I mentioned, we're going to do report, and we want to point this to report.hubshout.com. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to say that this name has been created. And you can see now that, um, uh, actually, I believe it takes a moment for it to refresh. But um, if we come back here, that should be created in, a f in, in just a few minutes. Go back in and take a look at that one more time. Oh, actually, it, it is there. It may have been there last time. I may have missed it. But report.hubshout.com has been created. Now, in order to validate uh, your that your domain name is set up correctly, I'm going to open a new tab. And this may take a few minutes for it to actually replicate across the web um, to so that the whatever DNS your, your ISP is using is actually going to pick up the, the change you've made. But I'm going to try it now and, and keep my fingers crossed that the alias we just created, report.cybercmo.com, has been created. Okay, and as you can see, we have actually intercepted that and said, congrats, your C name is configured appropriately. 
So at this point, you can email us and let us know that your domain name, your C name is set up. Make sure you send us your MSA and your logo, and we can proceed with uh, creating your, um, your portal. Thank you very much.